Physically, Joe, she will be okay. She was treated at the hospital and released, but mentally it's it's hard to imagine this had to be traumatizing beyond words we understand this 32 year old woman was tortured before it all came to an end just up the block from where we're standing oh it's a nice neighborhood it's a very quiet neighborhood lita cassian has lived off southeast courtney avenue near mclaughlin for more than a decade and for the first time she's feeling a little unsafe yeah, it was scary cassian woke up monday morning to find this rv broken down right in front of her house the RV was surrounded by sheriff's deputies who appeared to be questioning a young woman. She's showing them the, the um, things on her neck, you know, where she looked like she was kind of kind of choked, you know. Turns out it was much worse. Authorities tell us that young woman had been kidnapped by a couple of transients, held captive for 12 hours in their RV. And listen to this. The woman was zip tied, gagged tasered and assaulted before escaping. I would have never imagined that it was a kidnapping, torture or anything like that. This woman didn't want to show her face on camera, but she's the one who called 911 after spotting the victim trembling outside the RV. I was haunted by her eyes like she needed help. You could obviously tell she needed help. Deputies arrested 47 year old Michael Wilkins and 49 year old Leslie Weeks. Comforting news for neighbors who can't help but think about the alternative. What if they hadn't stopped here? What would have happened to that poor woman? You know, she might not be here with us anymore. Yeah, the two suspects identified as transients are facing a number of charges tonight, including robbery and kidnapping. They're each being held in the Clackamas County Jail on a quarter million dollars bail.